Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to work once again on a walking clean variation. I think of cleans as a basic athletic development skill. If you're good at cleans, you can be good at a lot of stuff, whether it be martial arts power, whether it be any type of running sport. Doing cleans forces your crown to coccyx alignment to be good. It forces your abs on and makes your abs fire very quickly and responsively. And that is always something that's very, very important to have. Normally, if you have access to heavier weights, then you would do normal cleans or normal clean and press and you would jack up the weight and follow your basic nerd math. If you don't have access to heavier weights, then we add complexity. Right now, we are working on stepping cleans. We're taking our cleans from static position and now moving them into a forward walking position because humans are supposed to be really good at walking forward or running forward. We would like to have two feet pointed straight ahead for this exercise. Let's review our normal clean really quickly. Two feet pointed straight ahead, point your thumb back, stand all the way up. The important part is the wrist. If your wrist is flat, you're doing it right. If your wrist is bent, go back, watch all of our videos on cleans figure out how not to beat yourself up. This is meant to help keep you alive. It is not an aesthetic thing. It is there in order to make your structure better so you can handle more weight or more reps for longer periods of time. Previously, we have had an around the leg, high kettlebell transition. Around the leg, high kettlebell transition. Around the leg, high kettlebell transition. We have a video on that, feel free to go watch it. What we are going to do now is we are going to turn this into a walking exercise. We are going to take a step ahead, rear hand, lead leg, feet pointed straight ahead. We're going to transition from this corner of the kettlebell to this corner of the kettlebell as we go around. Catch. Now let's transition to the other side, down, up, catch. Lead leg, rear hand, Point the feet straight ahead. Transition corner around the kettlebell. Catch, push the weight back, take a step. Step forward, rear hand, lead leg. Transition from this corner to this corner. Bring it up, catch with that flat wrist. If you're not catching with the flat wrist, you're gonna know and it's gonna hurt quite a bit. Push the weight back, step forward, transition. Two feet pointed straight ahead. Lead leg, rear hand, change from this corner to this corner, around the leg, go. Push back, step, around, catch, push back, step, around the leg, catch, push back, step, around the leg, catch, push back, step, around the leg, catch, push back, step. There is a reason I am saying the words out loud. It's because I want you to say the words aloud. There are so many things going on in these movements and there are so many ways that you could do it differently. You could step at a different time. You could change the whole exercise if you change one thing. I encourage you to create your own variations, but start with this one first. If you need to watch that previous section of video a couple of times, roll back through it and say it aloud. This is a trick we use in movie training all the time. When you're training people to do complex fight scenes in movies, you talk your way through it. Step forward with the left leg out with a 45 degree. Right hand does an outside block. Left hand does a cross, 45 degree angle across. Step through. You talk your way through it, and those moves could be 100 moves long. So these, which are only two or three things, are just a way to get your brain to focus and prime on that simple thing to do over and over and over again. Say it, repeat it, do it, practice it. If you're saying the words aloud, you're definitely breathing. Very important skill, don't hold your breath. Don't drop it on your toes. I don't know, this has been Mark Wildman.